Hey everyone. I'm Jill. And I'm Rhino. And we love bourbon. In addition to drinking it, we also wanted to learn about it and share that info with you. So come join us in the the Bourbon Bourbon Study. Welcome back everyone to the Bourbon Study. It has been an exciting week in our world. For those of you who might not be super close to the the Disney World uh, (laughs) uh, fandom, uh, a figment, the lovable purple dragon um, from uh, the mascot of Epcot, a popcorn bucket was released for the first day of Festival of the Arts, a which is happening now. now. And a week, this, yeah, one week Friday. ago as of so this one video. One week ago as of this video, <clears throat> the figment bucket madness It was a six-hour wait to get this popcorn bucket. Six hours. So Jill was like... Loves Figment. Jill was friends with Figment during her tenure If you catch tenure our drift, Disney. wink, wink. Oh, I, just, um, I went. Yeah, like, so, so Figment was is very hand. personal to us. Uh, when they announced the bucket was coming out, uh, my mother, well, you sent me the picture. Steve sent me the picture. Usually he doesn't give a crap about buckets and popcorn cups and stuff. And my mother sent it to me, and they were all like, you need to have this. And I was like... It's unreasonable to think that we're going to get one. Mm-hmm. I don't have a park pass. This was the popcorn bucket. Dun, 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 dun. Jill loves him so much. She I said, you know what? So I'm going to make a cake that looks just like him with his little back open with the rainbow popcorn, which he came with now, pouring out of it. I don't it. know if anybody understands how cakes are made, but it's not like a one day thing typically. Typically, the cake's made a couple days ahead. You spend time carving, chilling, shaping, all of this. Um, But because I knew that we had the reservations for Epcot on Sunday and the popcorn bucket stuff was like, I knew there's a likelihood they'd still be around in the park to like photograph side by side. I wanted to be the first person to make a popcorn bucket cake. I didn't want it to be six months from now, like, hey, I had that idea, and now 25 other bakeries have made one because somebody thought it was a cool idea. I wanted to break my own story. You hopped on this popcorn bucket craze. You made a figment identical cake. I would argue the cake looked better than the popcorn bucket. He was bigger than the popcorn bucket. I didn't have a reference for size because I obviously didn't have one at the time. Um, But So I, I spent about six eight hours on Saturday worked till midnight to get him done to be able to bring him to Epcot on Sunday which was a total gamble because I was like they could just we could traipse this 20 pound cake to the gate and they just like turn us back to the car in which case we'll have to take some monorail creative spaceship earth shots from Mm -hmm. outside the turnstiles um, but the, the WDW website currently says you can bring outside food as long as you don't uh, serve it to guests outside of your party. That's their current policy. We were five people. We couldn't eat an entire cake. Yes, the unfortunate <laughs> rule at Disney is when you bring in outside food, you cannot share it with people outside of the party. So when you only have a party of five, only the party of five, I feel like there's a joke about a TV show in here. <laughs> only those p- people can have a slice of the cake. So, so if unfortunately, one of you die, he ended up in the trash yeah, can. Yeah, so if one of you die or chip a tooth or something, the park can't be held liable. You, They didn't... Food yeah. poison you, you did. Also, I don't think they want people just coming in feeding people for free either. Exactly. So, yeah. so unfortunately, Figment met his demise in a trash can. We so gave if him, you saw that video. We gave him a nice like funeral, which is the part that wasn't part of that sad trash picture, which was like we said some words, we cut him, we were like, you've been a great boy. We cut and him. we ceremoniously discarded him. Um, but of course, you know, the internet likes to lash on to the negative, so here we are. In celebration of your achievement in the figmore, figment popcorn bucket, we're making a cake. Cake drink. Cake so, drink. So we're making like a vanilla buttercream cake drink. Mm. Shockingly, with no butter, because... It does it have bourbon in it. Of course. What this well, is the bourbon stuff. And let's it's just not... make it. I feel like you need a drink. I do, yeah. A little, a little edgy today. It's been a week. A little edgy. Two ounces of bourbon. It might be two Maybe and a half. we hold the bottle down just a little bit longer. And it's two. Wink. Uh, so two ounces of bourbon if you're making this at home and you're not just like, trying to... Let's call that the mama special. Make it to the weekend. Um, this is a bourbon ball old smoky product. It's a cream drink, but uh, you could use bourbon cream... You can use the uh, Buffalo Trace mix one, like any of those like coffee creamer style 
bourbon, fl- generic bourbon cream sure. flavors. You find them in the, ep- the aperitif uh, the aperitif, area. The aperitif, the cordials. The cordials, that's what I mean, yeah. Uh, so two ounces of bourbon, one ounce of the bourbon creme. Cream. Creme and that's bourbon. just kind of like a like a Irish cream, but bourbon flavor. Gives it a little. Gives the drink a little bit of a body. Yes. Much and like myself. And then a little spritz of simple syrup and some cake mm-hmm. vodka. If you don't have this around your house, you should. It's you staple. should. It's a great thing to have on the bar. I have a whole. And thing I'm just going to do a half, half ounce. Half of ounce that. of the yep. cake vodka. So two, one half. What you got that whipped cream up in here for? Uh, to spray it into the shaker. <laughs> Two tablespoons, approximately, of whipped cream. And um, this is a tiki bitters. This is called Tiki 500. It's toasted coconut, pineapple, and mm. allspice. The reason I selected this one is because you get those little bit of upside down cake notes. Some sure. of that like brulee yeah. type flavors, but without the traditional bite of like an Angostura. So if somebody doesn't have something like bitter. that on their bar, what would you recommend? Uh, like a black walnut pie bitter, walnut. a pecan bitter, uh, anything in that nut family. Uh, even a cocoa bitter would work oh, cocoa. This. Yeah, I was thinking cocoa uh, bitter. So if you don't have that, but if you do, this one's uh, really good and works in a lot of tiki drinks as well. Perfect. And then... We use our imagination. We use our imagination to shake. And then uh, some, we tried a couple different ways to get sprinkles to stick to the glass. Corn syrup, honey would do, caramel sauce. It's cake frosting, it. but this cake baker doesn't have it at her house. didn't have any at the house. So I've got some uh, delicious high fructose corn syrup. Doubles as blood in a scream movie. And then you just, of course, not without coops. And rainbow sprinkles. And then we pour. I like how you got to, wait, you gotta get it like, you gotta get some of the bottom of the glass. Some of the yeah, bottom? Yeah, yeah, I know they fall off, but it just gets a little floaty. And then uh, just a little piece of, tiny piece of cake. This one is lemon. A little garnish for the cake. Who doesn't little, love little a delicious cake garnish. lemon? It doesn't have to be lemon, it can be any cake of your choosing. So the moral of the story this week is that we have to learn to not read the comments. Except for on the bourbon study, because everyone here is very positive. We love those comments, but maybe not on cake videos anymore. Cheers. (laughs) Mm -hmm. I know. It's like you were there. Just leave pieces of the cake in here, Mm. and it gets Mm. that, like... Did you dunk? Well, it fell in, but it was a happy accident. So we're going to be here enjoying our cocktails, and uh, you guys enjoy your week. And... Do what brings you joy. If something makes you happy and makes you have fun, do it. Don't listen Here's to the Here's the thing that was crazy to me about it. Most people responded with kindness, but there are the people who were like, why? And I just thought to myself, why anything? Who cares? <laughs> why you on the internet being out here and responding? Why? Like, why you got to be that person who tears it down? I, I hate people that say, I love you, but is not an I love you. There's no but. It's just I love you. So I love this. But, no, I love this. You love it because it brings you happiness. I don't like people who say, I love it, but why? Just, I love you. How about that? Just it made somebody happy. It made somebody smile. It was just somebody who was like, I love this thing and I'm going to do it. I do. And it brought a lot of smiles. Yeah. There were so many people around the park that were like taking pictures with him and just like loving it. And it, it was great. Sometimes you just get into something and you just, it's about fandom. And that's that's what the Ampliverse is all about. It's about Whatever ways bring you closer to the things that make you happiest, do whatever it is. You see something and you think it's funny and like you want to make a cake out of it, make a freaking cake out of it. You don't have to answer to anybody. You want to make a painting out of it, make a painting out of it. Sew a doll. I don't care. As long as you're not hurting anybody, who cares? So just be happy. Have a drink. Thank you for having this drink with us. I drank all of mine already. If you liked the video, <laughs> thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We do have our patreon site patreon.com slash the bourbon study and on there you'll find some exclusive content like some tastings and i finally started editing the bourbon expedition so Mm. uh little bits of that have been started to come out and that's where jill and i went to uh drove to kentucky and did some of the distilleries up there it was a lot of fun i hope to do it again this year and so um yeah just thank you everybody thank you all the happy people out there continue to spread that joy to everyone cheers
Shattering Voices, Mountain Worlds.